Hey guys, how are we doing? So we're back on Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridge Series. This just gets so much better every time. I say this all the time. It's hilarious. And I like it as a nice little reminder as to how Yu-Gi-Oh! was. I was going to go back and watch the anime, but I don't feel like I need to anymore. <laughs> because I have this. So anyway, we are on episode 19, and this one's called Jagshimesh. I'm sure it'll make more sense when we watch the episode. Let's get into this! Yu-Gi-Oh! is filmed on really location tired, with the, the men and women sorry. of the Domino City Police Department. Okay. I can't believe I failed. Hmm. All I wanted to do was steal an ancient Egyptian artifact, seize control of a billion dollar company, and resurrect my dead wife. I mean, and I would have gotten away with it too, if it weren't for those, those meddling... Don't you even <laughs> think about making a Scooby-Doo Scooby -Doo reference. <laughs> what do you want, Makora? Can't you see I'm feeling distinctly unfabulous? <laughs> I want your Millennium Eye. So I'm challenging you to a shadow game, but Ooh. I don't have any cards. Cards? Where we're dueling, we don't need cards. We're going to do battle with ancient Egyptian laser beams. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? No way. No way. <laughs> no way did that happen. Holy shit. Pegasus, remember how I said I was going to kill you last? No. <laughs> That's right, Pecora, you did. I lied. No, don't take my Millennium Eye. It goes so well with my outfit. Ah, that's the wrong eyeball, you fool. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oops. That's much better. Yeah, that was amazing. I can't believe that actually happened. I love how it points out stuff in the show. Like, what was the episode of the boat where he said something? They were like, yes, he actually said that. Oh my god. Hey, Croquet, what happened to Pegasus? Mr. Pegasus is feeling under the weather. He looks kind of dead. Well, he's not. Now, excuse me, I have to go sandpaper my throat. I can't believe Pegasus is dead. He died as he lived, draped in the arms of another man. Let's go snoop through his things. Man, that is one girl I'd like to play card games with. Let's and by play card things. games, I mean have sex. Pretty. Look, it's Pegasus's blog. Reading this should allow the writers to fill in a bunch of plot holes. January January 12th. Yes. Mood fabulous. Darling Cecilia, fabulous. I still remember the, the first, first day, day we met. You were the second most beautiful person I'd ever laid eyes on. The first was me, of course. We <laughs> fell in love instantly and decided to get married. Then, when we were standing at the altar, something very unexpected happened. You exploded. What? Yeah, <laughs> that was kind of weird. What? In my grief, I took a trip to Egypt. What? Because that's what people do when they're grieving. They go to Egypt. Little did I know, my destiny was waiting for me right around the corner. Yagshamash, my name is Shadi. And in my country of Egypt, we no longer use slave to build pyramid. Now we make women do it instead. It's nice. If you come with me, I will show you why I hang donuts from my ears. I followed him into What's an going on? chamber filled with ancient artifacts. Is this Jewish actually how the fucking show went? I mean, obviously not like... ...and steal my Millennium items. Since you are not Jew, I let you have this one. It will grant you the power to see into people's minds. It's nice. The Millennium Eye gave me the power to see into the world beyond. At long last, I was reunited with you, my love. I thought my dreams had finally come true, but then you exploded again. <laughs> You really need to stop doing that. It says here that the Pegasus fuck? found a way to bring Cecilia back from the dead using the Millennium Items and Kyber Corp's virtual technology. Man, I've read fanfics that made more sense than this crap. Look, Pegasus must have released Grandpa's soul. This is super special awesome. Would you stop saying super special awesome? It stopped being funny 15 episodes ago. Oh, you did not just say that. <laughs> Get back here. Nobody disses my catchphrase. Huh? What the hell's going on? There has been a great disturbance. Someone has stolen a Millennium item. It was probably this little Jew boy. He must be hiding his horns underneath all that hair. I will use my Millennium Key to probe his mind. What the f- <laughs> Just give me a minute. Wow, wow, we were. The Jew's mind has been divided into two separate chambers. One looks like it belongs to a little boy, a very untidy little boy. If he lived in my homeland of Egypt, he would be stoned to death for his insolence. <laughs> this other room this is, is very, very on the edge. This it gives me funny feeling <clears throat> in my cram. Who the 
devil are you supposed to be? Yag Shamash, my name right. is Shadi. I'm here to persecute those who would steal my Millennium items. Um, okay. I like you. Do you like me? No. Look, I didn't steal anything. But if it'll set your mind at ease, then have a look around. By the way, have you ever seen Labyrinth? No. Why? No reason. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen Labyrinth in years. Don't worry, I'll save you. This little boy has saved me. Perhaps he is not as Jewish as I had first suspected. Jesus. What is this place? 5,000 years ago, Egyptian kings played a game of great and terrible power. These shadow games were played with real monsters and real magic. But these games erupted into a war that threatened to destroy the world. And so all the monsters were locked away inside these stone tablets. Are you trying to tell me this show actually has a plot? Oh no, <laughs> you have angered the Dark Magician. Our only hope is to summon the Blue Eyes White Dragon. No, don't. Why not? That's Kaiba's monster. I'm not going to let myself get saved by that. Dark Magician, you are not a gun. You are who you choose to be. Now choose. Wa wa we wa. This little boy and his obscure movie reference has saved us both. He must be the one the prophecy spoke of. I apologize for screwing with your head. It turns Never. out that you are the chosen one. Now I must return to Egypt, even though I have not found the one who stole my item. Remember, the fate of the world rests on your tiny oh God, this is shoulders. Tinkwe, so Mokuba, can you hear me? Wake up. Uh, who the hell are you? Are you the angel of death? Aw, oh, isn't that cute? Mokuba thinks he's dead. Yugi Moto, you are now officially king of card games. As winner okay. of the Duelist Kingdom tournament, I bestow upon you this extremely girly card. Also, here's three million dollars. Yoink! Now you can pay for your sister's operation. <laughs> Screw my sister, I have money. You each have five minutes to get off the island before we release the hounds. Big brother, where are you? <laughs> so I'm starting annoying. to develop abandonment issues. Oh, face it, kid. Kaiba never loved you. Uh, wow, that's Seto, mean. it's you. And you're smiling. Uh, <laughs> stop smiling, big brother. It's really creepy. Kaiba's smiling? That's the most disturbing thing I've ever seen. Whenever Kaiba smiles, a puppy dies. You oh eat. <laughs> because of the circumstances, our last duel was not conclusive. Perhaps the next time we duel, we will finally learn which of us is truly superior. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm the king of card games. And besides, I already beat you in the first episode. What's the your point? My point games. is, you're never going to beat me. So just get over it. I hate you so much. Come on, Mokuba. We're going to have our own tournament with Blackjack and hookers. In fact, forget the tournament. Well done, Yuhi. We saved the world. Just Blackjack and more and importantly, we rubbed it in Kaiba's face. <clears throat> yeah, by the way, who the hell are you? I have had many names. Once I was known as Pharaoh. Then I was known as the artist formerly known as Pharaoh. But you can call me Yami. I thought your name was a test. Shh, don't spoil it now. I just realized, now that the tournament's over, we have to go back to school. No! <laughs> That, that laser beam bit was incredible. Time to do it. Oh. Ha. Ha. Quick, someone fetch a bedpan. Oh, too late. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> that was incredible. I love it. I absolutely fucking love this. So random. Um. Like I said, it's nice to <laughs> catch up on the show without actually having, to, without watching it. And that laser beam bit was just incredible. <laughs> just the way it comes up. Yes, this actually happened. <laughs> Duel. <laughs> we're gonna have, we're gonna fight with laser beams. <laughs> the epic music was incredible. Oh my god. Oh, I gotta go get ready to go work. This shit. Oh my god. There's so much crap in the background. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um. So yeah. <laughs> What did you guys think of that? What did you guys think of this? Click like, subscribe if you haven't already, leave comments down below, let me know what I should watch and discuss in future videos, and I shall see you guys. Yes, you guys. Next time.
It's very nice. Bye.